Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Lorente card to review today. We're taking a look at a card that is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. Now, if you guys don't remember, Lorente's card in the CDM position used to be one of the meta oriented cards to use for the Liga Santana teams because of the fact that he was Spanish, Atlético Madrid links, and Liga Santana links. There was a couple of cool things you can work with, mostly with... Uh, Juan Felix at the time, right? But with this Lorente card, guys, we're taking a look at someone who has 86 acceleration with 95 sprint speed. Lorente, Lorente is an interesting case, right? Because he should have gotten a weak foot boost. Because I watch Atletico Madrid play because, you know, when a Portuguese player is in a certain team, I watch a little bit, you know. Uh, he scores a lot of goals with his weak foot. A lot. I'm thinking right now, he actually may have scored more with his left than his right foot. I'm not even joking when I say that. I think that's actually been the case. I could be wrong. Someone stat checked me a little bit, okay? But I've seen him score a lot of times with his left foot. So that's why I'm a little bit, you know? But they could have at least given him a four-star, five-star. would have been really, really nice for this card. Uh, in games, shooting, he's got 94, 85, 86, 85 for shooting stats on a midfielder. It's definitely very nice. Um, with his base characteristics, guys, I do think it is a car that you mostly use in the CDM position. Uh, in this game, because of the boost that you actually give him with a shadow chemistry cell, you can use him as a center back, as a full back, as a center mid, CDM, um, and he'll play well in most of those positions, I think, because of the defensive boost that he's actually given, right? It's the meta of the game being tall, agile enough to move left and right, all that fun stuff, right? But I want to see what he's like playing through the midfield, obviously, because that is the most authentic way to play the card. Uh, base card stats are passing is pretty good. Dribbling we will be experimenting with in-game because with a card like this, guys, uh, engine chemistry style... Gives him a plus 10 for balance, plus 5 for agility, plus 8 for dribbling, while giving him pace and giving him passing. Because his base card stats for pace is set up in a way where if you give him the engine, it's nice. But for the meta of the game, I do think that the pace is more important, in my opinion, right? It's just the way that uh, it kind of goes down in a lot of situations, especially for the acceleration to accelerate into positions really quickly, right? Um, for... His defending base card stats are really good with a shadow or boosting it by a lot. And then for physical, we have 90 for strength, 91 for aggression, and 94 for stamina with the high, high work rates, right? So uh, a lot of different variables to work with there. For this card, I'm going to be trying him out in uh, 4-4-2. Can we use him in a 4-4-2? Kaká, Ronaldo, Kulosevsky. Yeah, that'll be perfect, actually. So Patrick Vieira will be the card on stay back while attacking cover center. Marcus Laurentier will tell him to get forward cover uh, cover center to see what his attacking yeah, is like if he does actually push forward and what he's like coming back with the high defensive work rate and the shadow chemistry style. If I personally like him the most with the um, shadow chemistry style and I don't really care to boost his dribbling, then I'll let, I'll let you guys know. So, um, yeah, let's use the 4-4-2 and we'll see how he plays in game. I wouldn't give him the engine. No. No, I'd rather have the defensive boost and the pace being as it is with his dribbling like that. Why is his dribbling like this? It's because of that lean body type. That's good, man. Guys, his dribbling is responsive, man. It's really responsive. The lean body type is really nice. Man, they should have... Come on, EA. Do they not watch Atletico Madrid play? Like, my boy definitely uses that weak foot. You gotta give it to him. Oh, I almost got it. Lorente. Do the thing, Lorente. He still gets it. Oh, good shooting animation. Oh, it's a shame he doesn't hit it to the side directly. I did notice that. So a little, a little bit to the middle, but that's because of his base card stats for shooting. Good. Actually makes that angled run right there, too. Going to do it here as well. Touch. Shot. He's going to block it. Yeah. Ronaldo with the header, though, because he's a monster in the air. <laughs> Give me that. Let's go. 
Yeah, guys, don't give him an engine. I mean, you can. You definitely could, but guys, the defensive boost, it's, it's important, man, you know? It's important. Not a bad strike. I actually put a lot of power in behind that because his base card size for shooting is pretty low. So I want to try to feel it out a little bit. See where I have to shoot it. That was a really good tackle. Just makes sense, man. The acceleration, sprint speed boost. Okay, guys. Uh, so this guy is tryharding a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the 4 3 one, 2 Still kind of like a review formation, but we're gonna do this here. Kaka, Neymar, switch that there. Yeah, yeah, we'll rock it like this because, like this, with the uh, center mids attacking and defensive oriented, get into the box, get into the box. Cool. Let's try that out. Let's go, Ronaldo. Beautiful finish right there. We'll take that. Let's go, Lorente. Way to get involved in the attacking play. Let's go. Oh, man. High, high work rates. He actually attacks in that area. That was pretty nice. Nemarzito. I don't like using the uh, directional nutmeg acceleration thing. I really, really don't. But in this game, you literally have to because of how people just can just park the bus and their defensive AI does that. Like, they have to make attacking AI better, you know? For me to, like, not want to use it. Like, I have to, to, to break down the defense. It's really stupid. Okay guys, so for the sake of the review, I am going to try him out with the engine chemistry style. I do think that if you were to get this card, it is with a shadow chemistry style to use at CDM. That's where it feels like uh, when it comes down to using him in the team. An engine will make him more versatile, right? So if I want to use him as a center mid or as a CDM, it would make more sense for some extra dribbling on top of what he already does because of the lean body type. So I do think it's going to improve it a lot. But is it worth it over a shadow for the defensive stats? I don't think it will be, but we'll obviously see in game. Too close? Still get it though. Let's go. Good stuff, man. Four, three, one, two. Gets into the right attacking position. I was fortunate because the goalie dove to the left, so it it put his legs there for me to save that, or for me to score that. Excuse me. You know what, guys? I said that I might not prefer him with the engine, but I actually might. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, if I put less power, I actually might have scored that. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah. You know, just another shot cancel angle. He's not going to be, like, crazy responsive from it. Um, yeah, the engine, it feels nice. It makes the card feel well-rounded. Let's go, Lorente. Way to get into the right position at the right time. Good stuff. Oh, you missed. Kaka. No. How dare you. There you go. That initial run at the top was good too. Get it. Nobody's in the middle. Because the attacking AI on the side of the 18 yard box is garbage. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think there's like a right or wrong answer with the shadow or the engine. I, I like his dribbling with the shadow by itself, personally. Like, I noticed it right off the bat. It's because of the body type being as good as it is.
Okay, guys, so final verdict on Lorente's card. So the biggest thing that I noticed with Lorente is the fact that his lean body type actually helps out a lot. So when you use this card on a shadow chemistry style for a person that I mostly see being played in the CDM position, like a 4-2-3-1 in that right center defensive position, or maybe even a 4-4-2 as a right center defensive mid, uh, because he has some decent attacking characteristics with his high, high work rates, the shadow chemistry style works really well on the card. Now, if you want to make him more versatile and you want to switch between the CDM and centerman position, depending on the situation of the game, giving him an engine would definitely be very ideal as well for the extra dribbling boost. I notice it, but it's not drastic enough for me to choose that over the shadow, in my opinion, right? Because most of the times when it comes to center mids over committing into certain plays, you just really need them to kind of get into the opening themselves from like really quick passing play like we did sometimes with the one-two plays, right? So that's what you kind of notice the most with Lorente's card. I do think that the card is pretty good, uh, but it was a missed opportunity because I would love to use Lorente on an engine chemistry style if they actually gave him a good weak foot. If they gave him a good weak foot as a center mid, he would be really, really dope. Because there's a lot of situations where, as a center mid, it's always nice to have that weak foot for certain situations, which he's not going to have. Uh, which is... I guess it's not like terrible, but it's not ideal either, right? So the weak foot upgrade definitely would have been very nice for the card. I still think he's really, really good for what he offers in game. Like I said, he does mostly feel like someone that I would play in the CDM position on the Shadow Chemistry style. All those defensive boosts, working with his six foot height, uh, lean body type, three star, three star, transitioning left and right really quickly. Um, yeah, there's no right or wrong for the engine of the shadow. I would just personally give him the shadow because of the main position that I would use him in. But if you want, if you want to use him as a center mid, he obviously offers a good attacking and defensive presence uh, in that center mid position. Mostly with the shadow because he has extra defensive stats. But on the engine, you're going to notice more of an attacking one and somewhat of a defensive one. So um, I still think it's a pretty cool card. I do think it was a missed opportunity by EA uh, to not give him the weak foot upgrade because he could have been really sick, especially since. Uh, did this one get... No, this one... They, they messed up this card, too, when they released it. It was... What was the difference? Defense? Physical? I don't know. Something that they changed a lot for some reason. I don't know what it was. I forgot what it was. But, um, yeah, the team of season is cool, guys. It's still going to be a good card. If you guys pack him, he's still going to perform well. It's just a shame that he has a three-star, three-star. It makes him more linear, you know? So, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.